All right, hello YouTube. Look, we've had a rough past few days around here. Uh, I got very sick, and it was so bad. Two or three nights ago, I was running a fever so bad that I was hallucinating. And Joe ended up having, and I'll say this, I got a wife right beside me in the bed. Here's how this ended up. Joe uh, had to sit up with me all night putting cold compresses on me and giving me medicine all through the night, helping me keep my fever at bay, which I'm sure was well over 103, 104 degrees, maybe even higher. I was feverish all day, not as bad, but yesterday. Uh, Joe has waited on me hand and foot. This morning I got out and was able to go up to the store and needed to get some cash and I need to go in there and use a bank card to get some cash and uh, to order a plate for Joe and myself and uh, but I, I just want to tell everybody so everybody knows that's Joe and my's relationship uh, all the rest of family, everything can break down. People cannot really want to help. Uh, number one, you find out who really does love you during these drastic times. And number two, you need to thank the good Lord that he has somebody in your life that loves you to the extent that they're willing to do anything uh, to help you. So the last video I had out, it was, I kind of want to explain that. Uh, I don't think Joe, may, may, maybe he'll decide to go work out this afternoon, but I don't think so. Uh, he's gotten sick, but nowhere near as sick as I've got. And my wife, who works at a school just seems to think it's okay to go in there unprotected and every week bring death into our home and her herself get sick and herself not worry that the rest of us are getting sick and not care and not even care. Uh, the point you got to yell at somebody to put mask on and hand protection and alcohol and do the hands. Is a moment you're dealing with somebody that just doesn't care. They'll kill you. They don't know no better. They're unsafe. All right. All that being said, again, I put a video out the other day. I was really roasting this guy. Uh, I was able to do some investigating. I'm not going to mention. The guy's got another channel. He's nothing but a... Pretend Muslim. Uh, I got news for everybody. Uh, the prophet doesn't live in Illinois. The prophet doesn't live in a big house in Nevada. Uh, just phony. And real Islamic people realize that as such. But Islam has been able to fool even when it's been broken down into things that it's not has been able to fool the foolish in our populated world quite easily quite easily uh, they'll tell 10 lies to back up something that they're trying to convince you of that's not true uh, this idiot put a video up it touched personal to me because I knew these people 
did I know the girl that did it? No. Uh, but I knew this family and I had met a sister uh, that I believe had been dating a, a, a young nephew of mine in high school up there. So it got personal real quick. Uh, what this girl did, she does belong in prison for the rest of her life. No ands, ifs, or buts about that. Uh, she had a baby. She concealed it from her mother. She's a little prissy cheerleader at high school. Pretty little thing. Kept telling her mama, evidently she's getting fat. And a stupid mama who's not... Uh, you know, parents are R word today too. R word. I don't want to say it. It offends people. And she had this baby and then cleaned the blood up, cleaned herself up, cut the cord, took the baby outside and buried the baby. And they found the baby later. And she got caught. Now, if your blood runs blue, I know who you are. This fool, this boxing fool, who actually lies about people that he knows. And he has several boxing, uh, several different types of channels. Uh, he's a so-called inside guy in boxing, yet he's not. He's not. And uh, what inside he is when I get well, I, I start sending videos out on his other little racist channel. He won't be on the inside. He's going to be further on the outside looking in. He ain't never been on the inside. He started condemning white people for that. And he said only white people are stupid and ignorant and crazy enough to do something like that. Now, I could have replied back. You damn fool. Nashville, a black teen throws baby in a garbage can. The Bronx, New York, black teen throws baby in garbage can. Harlem, New York, black teen throws baby in garbage can. Chicago, Houston, uh, it's a daily occurrence in the black community for this, this kind of mess to happen. Uh, it's more of a problem with the black people than it is white people. So it offended me that he said this. And... I could have said that to him, but I didn't. I put down a logical comment, and he hid me from his channel because there's no another. He didn't have a leg to stand on, and he didn't want to see all the ignorant people that are stupid enough to buy into what he's dishing. Uh, now, and the reply I put was, "All right, uh, she did have this baby." But how many, how many people here are for partial birth abortions? Very late term abortions. Let's see what, let's see if any of this flips here. And he wasn't having that because he's full force abortion. He is a cancer to his own people. And I'll tell you why. It's because he's a damned fool that is easily misled by satanic forces and demons of this earth. Normal people that aren't affected by evil don't act like this guy act, acted. They're not going to put out here and try to stoke racism, try to stoke hate. And he constantly gets on another channel. Uh, this is why I know, and he he doesn't use his boxing channel when he gets on there, by the way. On the one with my friend. But I've had to cut ties with the friend. And here's why. I go over there and I get on a live feed. 
And then YouTube, all I get, all I'm getting is racist black people filtering our, just falling all over our YouTube. And where it was it was where Joe said, "It's amazing to me, Daddy, that the, the black people from Africa, the Africans, love us to death, but our own U.S. citizen black population." Seem to hate me for some reason. And I'm like, they hate themselves, so they're losers. And they can't fess up to the point that they're losers. We're at a point right now, a man can be a woman, a woman can be a man. You got uh, a health uh, admiral standing up, just says she's a woman, then puts on a Navy woman's suit. Uh, people are thinking that the white man's hurt me yesterday. I need something. Now, you know what? Uh, if anybody deserves reparations, uh, any race of people, it would be white people. It would literally be white people. We have doled out and doled out and doled out. We have sat back and let our, uh, in fear of being called racist, let our, our, our culture be totally decimated and turned into a rapping drug culture. I think young black people should be getting reparations from that too. But all white people should be. Should be. Uh, we give to colleges where black kids can go to college free. They never fill the quotas. They want to go over here to the other school. They get uh, these loans, and then they want somebody to pay the loans back for them. Be a man like I was. I went to a four-year institution. I went to UNC. I paid as I went. I worked my ass off. I worked hard. Can't you do that? Or are you a little wimp? Spineless, no backbone. You've created a culture of weaklings and effeminates that run down, drive down, do a drive-by and shoot kids up and walk around thinking like you're a tough guy. You're mentally ill. You're weak-minded. You ain't had a daddy. So all that came to a head. And I'm going to speak what I want to speak. Ain't none of you. I lose the YouTube, I lose the YouTube. People start harassing me online, they harass me online. I don't give a shit what anybody does. I don't, I, I, I do care. I don't, I don't want people coming over and trying to just come out and abuse me. But I'm sick of your shit, you little race baiting punks. I'm sick of seeing you guys looking like a little black kindergarten school girl from from 1972 with your little braids in your hair, thinking you're a man. You ain't nothing but a punk. You can't even get up at a certain time or go to sleep at a certain time. So, that's the truth. We don't want it. I spoke my truth. Anybody wants to rebut it, have at it. But you know what? It'll be a bunch of bullshit is what it'll be. I ain't hurt none of you people. None of you people. I got in that group trying to talk some sense. I said some things that really pissed me off. I said some things like, it's disheartening as hell. 
uh, when Joe was first born in the U.S., going through the line, picking and choosing, got a little girl, got a little boy, got a wife, got a mom I'm taking care of, got uh, going in the grocery store, and I get this, no, we better get this, this is cheaper, and having to figure all this out, praying to death over health care, uh, having to eat low-end food and walk in and see black motherfuckers walking through their asses as big around as doorways, carts, uh, eight members to the family and carts filled up with ice cream, this, that, the other thing, everything brand name and high dollar. Yeah, it pissed me off. I had to pay for it. Let me tell you something. You ain't even worked, Mr. Blue. You ain't contributed to no system that's been significant enough, Mr. Blue. I have. And things like that are disheartening. You done got your uh, reparations. And it shouldn't have been no reparations. Because it's done nothing but hurt you people. And you sit there and you say things like, I don't, you know, it, it would be like working a job. Somebody hand me a card to uh, Walmart or something and say you got to spend the money there. Yeah, if any money's given out, it do, you do need to be told where you can spend it and where you couldn't. You motherfuckers would be out by the majority of you. The majority of you would be out here buying drugs and half a... Uh, you give everybody a $200,000 reparation, you'll be sitting there claiming that the reparation was wrong after 50% of the black population is dead. Drug dealing, this one going over here to get this other one's uh, uh, drugs that they bought, fighting and killing and ODing. And then you'll, you'll be right back where you start. They shouldn't have done that because your little brains go from one thing to the next. But accountability from, from your own self, that never seems to enter the brain. You know, the thought of maybe I need to be a man. If you can't look around and find a black man that has worked his ass off up through the hell ladders of working that we all have to go through. Look over here at some white ones if you can find them. Emulate what you see that works. Sitting around here online bitching and griping about white people and, and then claiming we're all racist. Well, that's all you do all day long is be racist. No. No, the heck with you. There's a special place in hell for you. You got horse blinders on. God's probably blinded you himself and you can't see. And you probably never will. But I would get up away from whatever that Muslim American thing, which is not even real Islam. It's just this thing a bunch of black prison people came up with and a vacuum cleaner salesman. And what I do is get out here and uh, start studying up on Christ. Because I, I got news for you. No more condemnation from you is coming on me. No more. And I'd be real careful because I fear for America. That kind of filth continues to grow in the United States. And something bad is going to happen. And I will remind the black population, you're sitting, well, you done aborted so many babies. You're probably sitting, uh, I'm not going on official figures here, I'm giving reality figures, 11 to 13 and a half percent of the population. How y'all going to come out and take over? You, you can't band together and come up with guerrilla armies. You'll run scatter at first shots against yourselves. You'll scatter because you're, you're cowards. You won't go up and, and fight fairly. And of course, it's saying all black, it's saying all black people. 
Uh, and I'm sick of having to say that. If it's your race, wear it. I wear mine. And, and we're just sick of hearing it. So, and I'll leave you with the with the question. And this goes to everybody. Who of you has a 15 year old son that'll stay up all night long, two nights in a row, putting cold compresses on their old man, sitting in a chair by dad in the bed? I do. And I've done that out of love. I've done that by shielding him from the rest of these punks out here. The rest of these effeminates out here that wouldn't do, wouldn't cross the street for their mom or their dad. It's been difficult having a mama around here that's not in reality half the time in La La Land. So we're doing well around here. I'm feeling a little better. I wanted to address those issues. I am hopping off of race here. You guys have it. I, I don't know how more clear I can be. I'm fixing to get like the, uh, the, that cartoon guy that just come on, uh, last October or whatever and said, I'm done with black people. I'm finished with these people. I've come to the realization there ain't a damn thing you can do to help these people. That guy, he was the cat uh, cartoonist for the uh, whatever cat that is that's on all the newspapers. I'm getting to that point too. I'm not there yet. I'm at the point right now that is just people that are allowing a, a, a springboard and a voice to these racist people. And it could be either side. You know, you're going away from me. I'm not putting up with it. And uh, next, somebody owes me. You know, you're, you're out. You're blocked. You're done. I don't want it. I'm trying to raise my son to be a man. And when you effeminates are sitting back and trying to logically reason, because maybe you're trying to go to school or something, been there and done that 40 years ago, paid for it myself. I'm not handing you lollipops. It's a simple process. So uh, if it keeps happening and I keep seeing the crap filtering up on us, I'll just block everybody. I'll block a whole race of people off. Uh, my online experience, uh, I don't choose to be a bad one. I don't choose to get online and get a, a bunch of bad, uh, propagated bullshit, uh, against my race or against the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And that's the one thing these people seem to have in common. They don't like Christ. So they got a spirit of condemnation towards others. And that's the whole thing in a nutshell. Goes back to what I said earlier. They are demon led. <laughs>